All right, a bit of an update. I've had this now for a couple of weeks. Um, I really like it, but there are a couple of things that are pretty annoying on this machine. And the main thing is the throttle. I cannot, I have a hard time getting used to the electronic throttle on this. And um, yeah, I, I, it's gotten better. And when you're pulling stuff, running it on economy, makes the, the electronic throttle a lot smoother, not as jerky. So that's, I guess, all right. I've been trying to run it at standard mode though, to get more used to it, but um, yeah, I'm having a hard time with it for sure. Other than that, uh, it's a really nice machine. Uh, the main thing I like about it is how quiet it is. You can actually, if you have someone sitting behind you, you can uh, quite comfortably have a conversation while you're cruising along. That's really nice. Um, the box is outstanding, I think. Uh, I'd find an axe for this side here. Um, that's the right size. The one I have is a little bit too big or too small. <clears throat> uh, it is front heavy for sure. Most of the weight on this machine is in the front. And it makes controlling this machine very different from a lot of other machines I've had. Um, for history, I've had a uh, 2014 Scandic Wide Track, same front um, uh, as this one with the telescopic uh, suspension. Um, it was a nice machine. I then bought a or traded that for a 2019. Expedition Extreme 800R. Now that is not a quiet machine. Um, its fuel economy was, I guess, all right compared to the 550 uh, Scandic. But and it's a, it was a hell of a machine. Like uh, an unlimited amount of power. Um, very good if you want to climb mountains or or run around in super deep snow all the time. Uh, this machine has a completely different riding style compared to that and more suited to the kind of work that I do with the machine. Um, I'm mostly cruising around, pulling groomers, uh, maybe a little bit of deep snow, of course, a little bit of trail breaking, breaking early on in, this, in the season. Um, but uh, the 800R Expedition Extreme with the modern front front end suspension is was an amazing machine just not for the type of riding that I do uh, it was a bit too much for me I guess <laughs> even though I never felt like I should be able to get stuck with that um, so yeah that's a that's a nice update a little update on this uh, I really like the, the new shifter is 100 times better than the old machines even the, the um, 800R this just ships very smooth. The three modes, economy, uh, standard and sport, they pretty much do exactly what they say. Uh, economy is just, you know, full speed is ridiculously slow. Um, uh, standard is where you run, do most of your riding, but if you're running through a lake, uh, um, maybe you want to run sport mode and just whole ass. So, um, yeah, nice and quiet. You can have a conversation. Um, yeah, really nice machine. I need to do some, some uh, fiddling with the suspension. It's on the smoothest setting now. I need to bump that up for sure. Um, but other than that, it steers good. Uh, floats decently. I haven't gotten stuck or anything yet. You see this uh, this uh, spring maybe if the snow gets um, slushy. That's usually when you can get stuck with these when they submarine. But um, but yeah, overall really good machine. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thank you.